today from Gordman's. It is declaring bankruptcy. Of course, we have a store here in North Lincoln. Janelaine Eyewitness News reporter Kelsey Murphy joins us now with more on what this means. Kelsey. Rod, Gordman's operates more than 100 stores in 22 states. According to a news release, the stores will be liquidated, a move that could mean an end for those stores. It was more than a century ago. The Gordman's, a retail store, opened for the very first time on the corner of 16th and Chicago in Omaha, Nebraska. The once small retail shop grew to more than 100 stores in 22 states. Here in Lincoln, it's more than deals in trendy fashion. Shoppers feel a bond with the store that's been with them from the beginning. Jeffrey Hughes says he grew up shopping here. He remembers playing on the toy elephants as a child while his parents shopped. Now he's the one filling the cart. So I've been around for a long time and it's going to be missed very well by a lot of people I know that. On Monday, Gordman's declared bankruptcy. It's always been a friendly store. The, the staff is always friendly to help you. Uh, I'm really sad to see it leave because it's been a good place right here in our community. I reached out to the store regarding the bankruptcy. They declined to comment. In a press release, they said the store will be entered into an agreement with Tiger Capital Group LLC and Great American Group LLC for the sale and liquidation of the inventory and other assets subject to court approval. They did not say when the liquidation would happen. President and Chief Executive Officer Andy Hall released this statement about the store's plan. Quote, until further notice, all Gordman stores are operating as usual without interruption. End quote. Right now, the store employs about 5,000 people across 22 states. The Lincoln store is located near 27th and Superior. Again, the store says it will continue to operate as usual. Liquidation is subject to court approval. Yeah, a lot of history, a lot of memories with Gordman's. All right, Kelsey Murphy from the newsroom. Thank you.